Hello and welcome to the Safety Third Podcast. Today's very special episode. Our guest is Mike. Mike. Micah. I was thinking the title of this podcast would be like Micah, like like half your name. Yeah. You know, just sort of like it's like a. Oh yeah, because. Yeah, because it's like if you give everybody the full name, it's it sort of feels like you're you're like oh it's Michael Reed. Well, wasn't that the the title of one of the other Michaels? No, was podcasts? it just it was I, just Michael. It was just just Michael, but I think we should. Michael too. Michael too. I so think now we just, we just need to do Mike. Yeah, no, you do half. We can Michael. just get away with Mike. Michael, no, Michael. Yeah. This gotta like sort of not make sense. Speaking of not making sense, um, <laughs> welcome to the Safety Third <laughs> Podcast. Yeah. So I, I figure we'd ask you the question that everyone else is asking: How can we Shut stop posting videos? I'm, I'm working on a video. Yeah, but why it takes so long? <laughs> yeah, why why don't you ever post videos? I've been doing a lot of stuff in between. Yeah. I do other things. I play Fortnite. <laughs> okay. I, I get it. I get it. You understand. I play Fortnite. Um, He's not lying. <laughs> They're completely decked up with Fortnite yeah. guns. Also, we're in my you house. got the entire so. arsenal. Ah, fuck. Oh, oh. Bitch. I don't have a weapon. <laughs> He's defenseless. Yeah. Don't defend oh, him, man. Dude, that one trades me <laughs> so hard. <laughs> dude, I bet I can hit that expensive lens over oh. there. I bet you can't. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> So you, this is like an extra difficult project. Oh. Are you, what did you? Are you shooting the camera now? Oh, that was a good I, shot. I, yeah, <laughs> I stopped recording cool. after that one. <laughs> I um, I hired an editor and it was the greatest thing I ever did. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know, like, or I don't even have enough content for like an editor to do yeah. something. So it's, maybe you should have more content. Maybe, maybe you should. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look who's talking. Uh, yeah, that's wait, the, the last joke. Time you yeah. That was supposed to be the joke. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Point out. <laughs> what, well, why aren't you uploading? Why aren't you uploading? <laughs> this is the best time of the year to upload. That's why everybody yeah. posts this because December. Dude, see, that's why we've been waiting. Time. We're waiting for December. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To post. I, I yeah. think you guys have exactly. so many videos ready to go. Oh, we're so, so fucking many smart. videos. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. It's like trying to get too many things through a door, and yeah. you just can't get any of it through. Exactly. You know? It's just. Yeah. It's, just too many it's videos. It's an overflow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to wait three weeks for these rails to come in from mm. China. I realized they were the wrong length rails. I bought more rails from China. Are they too then, short? Yeah, I bought ones that were too short. I like I, I was listening to like, fucking creepy cave stories on YouTube. That's what I do when I work. Yeah. Okay. Um, Is and, it a channel or? A... No, it's like a bunch of different ones. It's just like they talk about deaths caves? and caves. Oh my god. Oh. Um, yeah, that's... they're just scary. Um, or like, yeah, other random shit like the history of Peru. So how did, did that? Um, <laughs> did that make it worse when we went to the silver mine? Dude. Wait, what? We were oh, oh, yeah, yeah, dude. I was thinking about it. I was like, holy shit. Putty. This is how it started. Yeah, this is how Nutty Putty started. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was looking at, the, at Brett, right? Brent? Brett? Brent. 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 Yeah. I was like, dude, yeah, this is the fucking guy. This is... Yeah. this. Oh, you're the guy who I hear about. The nutty who putty, dies yeah. in the yeah. fucking cave. Yeah. <laughs> have, have you watched any of his videos? Yeah, yeah. I've actually, I've seen him on like, uh, he, fuck, YouTube short, TikTok. Right. Mm. He just goes in and he just keeps going yeah. and he just keeps going and he, he just keeps going. going deeper into the cave. He like starts leaving little like glow sticks so he knows his path back. I, I leave little one. bat snacks around so I can uh, yes. fi oh. find myself back. So I, just, I find a bat on the cave and I just sort of squish it. So <laughs> the like, red oh, mark and the bat. blood. <laughs> okay, so you're listening, you're listening to cave horror stories. Dude. Yeah. And then you, you ordered the wrong. Oh, dude. Yeah, I, I made those platforms that, wait, fuck, I I can't talk Yay. about too much. I made platforms that move. Yeah. The rails. fucking I measured like the length of the platform. I was like, this is good. Not realizing it, it had to move on the rails. Mm. I was like, it was like, <laughs> so it's like the perfect the size. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stand still on the rails and do nothing. <laughs> yeah, but I'm kind of glad I did because I I used those smaller rails to like line up where the carriages should go and like I welded based on that. I would have been scared to fuck mm. up the big rails. So it was not so bad. And you it's I, a while. You've done something I've never seen before on a YouTuber project, like maybe for Colin for or something. You used concrete bolts. So you bolted this <laughs> whole contraption to the floor Dude, of your garage. it's too much force yeah. to like have yeah. like lead weights or anything. <laughs> like we're hy hyping it up so that when this podcast comes out, they'll go and watch it because you posted it two days from now. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, 40 concrete legs in the <laughs> 40, garage. 40, 40, 40 Dude, holes? 40, yeah, because it's... So the brackets on the, on, the, on the pistons are the biggest. They need to be the yeah. biggest. It's taking all the force. Um... So it's like, those are like three eighths concrete <laughs> bolt. You, those and are like each of those, 4,000 pounds. Front one, <laughs> sheer force or pulling up? Well, if you torque them down. I, I don't know. I think, good. I think I'm pretty good. good. You, if anything, it's probably like almost under supported, but it works for now. Like that thing is so, there's a lot. There's so much force it's going on. So yeah. much force. It's so yeah. violent. It Actually, it, it so loosened quickly. one of yeah. the piston assemblies. Mm. Like really? every yeah. single three eighths concrete bolt. And I like, 
torque them down on yeah. the impact too yeah. and like yeah it was like moving just like a little bit for like the size of the holes it's like the that metal is like three eighths fucking six inches in each yeah. direction angle steel it's fucked yeah um i'm glad it didn't fall apart i think that the only the like only actual real way to do this is to straight up cut concrete out and like cast a plate into the concrete. Oh, yeah. like that's the only actual way to do this because like the concrete bolts are sort of the the, the second best way to do it. Yeah, yeah. Because it's it's and I so definitely violent. Can't, can't no, do anything no, it's or not worth like the effort to. Or epoxy concrete anchors. Like that would be a good way. Yeah, maybe, but it's mm. got to be somewhat. You got to take it apart so your landlord doesn't. Yeah, to yeah. I'm gonna have to refill for it. Yeah, so it's like, so it's like fuck. It's eight big bolts per piston assembly, and then the rails each get mm. like there's like four rails. Each rail gets like six <laughs> bolts. Oh my it's God. like I don't know. It was like forty. Something yeah. like that. Did you go out and buy like a concrete drill or did you rent one? Or? No, I bought it. Dude, the fucking Ryobi concrete just drill was like, drill? just a hammer drill was yeah. like $70. And now yeah. I have a, like a, um, I used it for like a couple other things and it's like nice. It's got a handle. It's pretty yeah. cool. Did the neighbors hate you? Did, no, I closed the garage door when I do You think that. that's enough? It's like a thick sheet metal I think door. it's good enough. It's going to make I it louder. The concrete, the hammer like drill. Drum. Just, yeah, it's yeah. a drum. <laughs> that one's probably okay. Sometimes I don't close the garage door. Those are like the worst sound ever. You know, too. when I first got a hammer drill, I'm like, wow, I can just drill into I can do anything. Into rock. And I, I, I just started drilling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I, I could put them. You just go around. Yeah. yeah, dude, I kind of feel more powerful. I'm yeah. like, oh, shit, I could put I a could shelf bolt. right here on the side of my house. I could pull anything, could anything to anything. Yeah, I, I felt, yeah, I was like, I was starting to think of shit to build <laughs> yeah. after I bought it. It's a dangerous tool. <laughs> yeah. It was like Fortnite in real life. <laughs> dude, it's so cool. Have you used uh, the hammer, the ha nail hammer? What do they call them? The uh, explosive hammer? The explosive oh, hammer. Oh, yeah. That's what are those? What are they? Like? Powder, powder, act yeah. powder actuated side. hammer. Powder actuated tool. Yeah. Tool, yeah. Like, I mean, I guess some people like Seth made here send videos with them, but like, yeah. Just like the idea of like, that. oh, I've got a nail and I've got concrete. <laughs> how do I? How do I get the nail in the concrete? I don't know. How about like half a gun? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about a bullet, but sharp? Yeah, it's just a little <laughs> bullet. You put it in there, and it just explodes. The so it doesn't, because that's the thing. It does. Like, where's the concrete go? Just kind of like. I have no idea. Yeah. I literally <laughs> yeah. have no idea. That is a I good question. Know. Like, is there air in concrete? Like, does it? Is it? It's got to be like air. It just like it, like compresses it. Like true, because that's a nail. It's not does even it shoot like, it out space. the back. No, it just it just goes into the concrete. So like the concrete has to like either just get a little more or, compressed. I yeah. Guess. <laughs> that's yeah. gotta cost like fractures at some point. I, you're right. Yeah. It's anyways. I I oh I think that's uh, I'm I want to do something with uh, really holes in concrete so I can finally feel like. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so we we yeah. bought two. We bought two cars. I bought three cars. The worst, the cheapest cars we could find on Craigslist. Yeah. And uh, we then in starting at like six p.m. till three in the morning, we're in front of my house. Chopping the cars up and welding off-roading uh, attachments to them. Pretty loud. It's pretty loud it for the neighbors to hear. Extremely yeah. loud, and I just kept telling myself, I was like, every neighbor gets like one or two of these a year. <laughs> it's going to like every New other day. For this video. <laughs> yeah, then Michael comes out with the porta band and the uh, on the hood, and the hood just is like it's like singing. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, just <laughs> singing like it was like a reverberating yeah. speaker. It that was, was great. Was but good. I was like, dude, I'm almost done with this cut, and I don't want to support it with my hand. <laughs> and then Chelsea came out, just like. <laughs> yeah, she was not happy. It was it. worth it. Nobody complained. Uh, I think somehow if we the, well, the neighbor right next to me said they didn't hear anything. So really? that's fucking yeah. crazy. It, it is. It is actually incredible because I'm pretty sure the neighbors across from us definitely heard it. I yeah. didn't hear anything. I went to you sleep didn't? early because oh, I I flew in that day and I was tired. <gasps> I, I didn't hear anything. That's good. That makes me feel better. That's insane. So someone the garage door was open. Yeah. Someone could just be murdered on your street, and Kevin will be like, I just yeah, basically yeah, just, just sleep right through it. <laughs> Perfect. But then we, I don't we went, need that. I don't need that noise. <laughs> <laughs> then we drove. We drove up this mountain, this off-roading mountain. Uh, four, in, three and a half, four hours to get to the mountain. Yeah. First, yeah. that was to get there. Just driving normal roads, yeah. and then going up the mountain. Also took like four hours. Yeah. Somehow, really. <laughs> yeah. It actually the last did. like five percent of the We got journey. there at like two, and I think we made it to the top of the mountain at six. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my God! It was amazing though. I feel I feel like we went full uh, we went Top Gear, but bad. Top Gear, but worse. Yeah. Top Gear, no, it's but bad. Top Gear, but it's bad. That's what it felt like. I felt like Jeremy Clarkson, or maybe no, maybe not. Nah, maybe he felt uh, like the other guy. Hammond, who's sort of the Hammond. Hammond. Richard May. James May. James May. Yeah. Clarkson's sort of like the the grumpy old man. Yeah. Uh, James May is kind of like the the passive old man, and then Hammond is the like. He's like the younger, healthier one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's jovial. Yeah. I'm not sure which one of us was each one of them, but 
I felt like I was in an episode of Top Gear and we were about to drive off a cliff, but we didn't have a rescue team like they did. It was very scary. For it, was a, of that. it was a little way scary. scarier than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> but dude, when I was driving, I was like, this is okay. I've like driven on scary roads. And then like when it was Alan driving, I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, fuck, I have <gasps> no control. So I just would unbelt my seatbelt and have my hand on the unlocked door and I was ready <laughs> to bail at any jump. fucking second. I was like, I was like, like a half open door. I was, was ready, ready to bail, to bail yeah. immediately. Alan's he a was very, like, Alan's like a very delayed driver. What does that mean? Like kind of everything is like a half second later than it should like be. Like drunk driving. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Al- Alan driving. Yeah, Alan driving. Alan driving. It's like kind of maybe similar to drunk driving. <laughs> yeah. It's like, Fuck. you know, he gets there, he does the thing, but it's always like a little bit like, <laughs> he also drove it a lot of the way up. He's probably he tired. <laughs> it looks like. <laughs> so when are you gonna? What, what do you have left to do on your video? Edit it. Some editing. A little bit more filming. Of yeah, it. maybe one more. We'll probably get like one more group of people to try it out. Yeah. Um, probably like offline TV people. Give it a shot. Who are you gonna use in the video though? Who am I gonna? What? If you get the other group, who are you gonna use? I'm gonna do both groups. <laughs> the no, fuck do a, you mean? You just have to choose one. <laughs> Why would I film two groups and use one, Nigel? Just, Why the fuck he's would been I working do that? on it for it? Because one's Five better, months. and then everyone's <laughs> waiting for the video, and you're just not in it. <laughs> I've had that happen. Oh. Yeah. Alan did that to me. Did it? <laughs> yeah. You were supposed to be in it. In his, like, like, in his like this. treadmill one, his like. Uh, Oh yeah, so oh, that's yeah. yeah, and then he's like, "Yeah, I cut you because uh, I don't know." <laughs> I'm constrained. I, just, I was like, "What?" I I did that uh, in the X-ray video um, with Kevin because we were like trying to figure out how right. to get the X-rays to work, but the the because it's like it's kind of you know. You know, it's a lot of work to. Dude, you got to do what you got to do. You got to do what they work. Yeah. And that the problem was, it just like didn't really. It was just too much. It, it yeah, like yeah. If it's just yeah. too much people, it like yeah. Work, yeah so we were out. just like recording, trying to get it working, and then it just didn't work in the video. Yeah, yeah. like we got it. We did get it working, but in the video, it just sort of like did. It just sort of like made it seem like too much. So Kevin, poof. Yeah. Gone. <laughs> Don't worry though. The oyster now there's, video. There's no evidence of my bone cancer where that came from. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Whenever I get whatever, you'll look back and have no idea where it came from. We took a yeah. When I get cancer, like in this area. (laughs) Oh no! (laughs) Groin. I I did. I did a groin X-ray. Because it was like I was standing like right next to the tube. I did a thing. Yeah. I my thighs were too thick. I couldn't make it through. I didn't make it through. That's a shame. I know. Is that a thing? What thighs too thick? Thick thighs save lives. So no, that actually means you absorbed all yeah, of the Yeah, absor- I absorbed all <laughs> yeah. the extra. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's still inside. So you would have had to use, I mean, it doesn't really matter because to get through your thighs, you'd have to use even more extra <laughs> <laughs> or higher power ones. Yeah. Uh, yeah I talked to a, a friend I went to high school with. She does x ray stuff. Like, stuff. Like, like an actual scientist, like a real no. scientist. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, and she basically was like, <laughs> You shouldn't have done she's that. Like, well, she's like, It's not good, but it's, it's not like. <laughs> It's not that okay. bad. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, like what? It's just. Yeah. You had it, a lot of dangerous stuff. Yeah. You know what you're doing, probably, maybe. I mean, just enough. I mean, look at just look at all enough. the people that invented X-rays. They're all dead, and no one complains about them doing. You know what? Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> That's, <good>. That's all right. <laughs> I deserve. I deserve the shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're definitely. That's what I, I. I. I do think that there was a day when science was good. Yeah. Fun. Like based. I remember based. talking yeah. about when yeah. I was in the lab, like in the 80s. It was just normal. You could just smoke in your fume hood. That's right. Seems like, totally like, fine. I don't see anything wrong so with that. So you could just be smoking, working with flammable solvents. Like, you know, you put your head in the fume hood. Yeah. Obviously, you don't want to get smoked. Well, in that's the fine. The fire just right. goes up. Yeah. Right. These are the good old days. And like, well, if you if you made something and you wanted to see what it was like, you just tasted it Ooh. first. Scientists today, too soft. Yeah. Too yeah. soft. No flake. Yeah. Scientists. <laughs> they are. I mean, that was something at the uh, at the mine. I feel like this has got to be the podcast where we talk about the mine because we didn't really talk about the mine too much. Yeah, do you really want to give the context of yeah. the out? And- yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so, let's, so we went to a mine. If we're going to talk about the mine, we went to a silver mine run by a man named Brent. It's called, the uh, YouTube channel is Ghost Town Living. Yep, that's it. And uh, the mine is the Cerro Gordo silver mine. And so he bought this mine because... It's like a whole town. It's a whole town. Yeah. Uh, Mad Lad bought a mine. And he just lives at the mine in the old, like, 1900s, 1800s houses that are there. Yeah. And he goes into the mine. So if you've never seen any of this guy's videos, the mine has a fully functioning, like, cave system. Has a fully... Elevator. Fu- well, it's not even cave. Sorry. It's, like, it's just mine shafts. It has a fully functioning elevator from... Like the 1800s? Is it the 1800s or 1900s? It's like somewhere, it's 
old. It's like yeah. over 100 years old. We're like most of us made of wood. Dude, which yeah, sucks. it's like actually it's at made at least of wood. 100 years old. It's at least 100 years old and it Indeed. still works. I don't know how you fucking do that. If I, I try to build anything out of wood, it's just warped Rotted. immediately yeah. and yeah. rots. I don't know how yeah. the fuck 100 the, years ago. Wood was better. It was all the microplastics <laughs> kill better. the trees now. Fuck, dude. <laughs> I know. You think they're mining for microplastics? They're mining. They're, they pull the microplastics out of the ground and they Refine put it in our Refine them bodies. so we can breathe. Yeah, so we you put, know how people like look for the radiation-free steel? You know, at the bottom of the ocean, because it's oh, like yeah, so it's this is like, like microplastic free wood. Dude, uh, it's very valuable. Yeah, it's super strong. Yeah, but it made me realize that uh, Brent, the way that he is, you know, like upkeeping the mine and exploring it, is the same mentality that built us the helicopter, um, built us like all the cool things, like you know, radiation, all the cool yeah, things that we get yeah. to enjoy today. He's putting the work into yeah. it right now. Yep, those inventions He's, are. He's left taking a trail the of bravery and yes. a lot of bodies. Courage. Yeah. A pile of courage. courage. <laughs> <laughs> a stinking pile of courage. <laughs> but it like I I mean it's just it took every ounce of me to not get in the 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 mine elevator that goes 900 feet down. Yeah, I actually did not have it didn't take it a didn't lot take of anything. difficulty for me <laughs> to I, not get. I I really half of me was like I really want to go down the mine hole. And the other half of me was like, you're going to die if you Dude, cut down the mine I, I almost hole. felt better like if I if I went on that wooden ladder. Because at least it's yeah, like my yeah. own, like my, if like it's fault. my fault. Yeah. Like it's my fault and like it's, I can control it, how I move, you know? Yeah. But the mine elevator is like, no. fuck you, fuck yeah, that. It's time to die. Yeah. yeah. Imagine climbing up a 900 foot ladder. I, yeah, true. What if you get tired in the middle? I what know. happens? What do you do? <laughs> hang you on. Do, you like hang your elbow around it maybe, but... Oh man! Has Brent gone down the 900 foot? Yeah, he's used That's the fucking elevator. It's so scary. Yeah, and it takes like 45 minutes too. So it's like really? you're, you're like terrified for 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know it took that long. It's That's like crazy. bouncing off the walls. Ooh. So it used to have this old electric motor, and they they had to replace it because it was old. <laughs> Um, and they replace it with a hydraulic motor, but it's much smaller. And so it moves really slow. Uh, I don't know how fast it used to be, but right now it takes, what, 40, he said 45 minutes to yeah. go down, 45 minutes to go up. So it's like an hour round trip, hour and a half round trip. Um, Damn, dude, you could swap that with like a Hayabusa engine and you could get that. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> dude, is it just a rope? It's or a steel it, cable. It's like a one inch steel cable. Yeah. Cause it's like, if they just had rope, I would, <laughs> I would not go in that. I mean, rope would probably be fine if it was new rope, I think. 900 year old rope. I would not rope. want 900 feet of rope holding me up. I don't know. I'd I, rather have some kind of new rope than old steel. <laughs> So it, it does have like a safety mechanism too on the sides. An alleged safety mechanism. It's yeah. supposed to work. Yeah. We did see it work. It did but, bite on but, when it went down. What does the safety so mechanism do? If it breaks, you just get stuck in a hole. So there's so the, so the way yeah. it works yeah, is uh, there's the cable. It comes down to like this top plate, and the yeah. top plate is mounted to the uh, the cage indirectly. It goes through this like spring loaded system, yeah. and so that if the tension between the cable and the top plate or the the cage like yeah. is decreased too much, yeah. Then these little like ears yeah. kind of spring out, and they like they're kind of like spiky, and they like, kind of like they bite into the uh, like the, the wood rails, the four by four wooden rails. Yeah. Also, the, the rails are wood. Rails. Yes. The yeah. rails guiding you down wood. Hundred year old, hundred year old plus wooden yeah. rails going all the way down to the bottom. How the fuck does any of that? But then you get oh, stuck so. in. A hole. Yes. But it's better than falling to yeah. your death. But there's the also yeah. an adjacent... But no one's there to save you. There's an adjacent shaft that is a 900-foot wooden ladder that you can climb up and down. Yes. Yeah. Dude, if it takes 45 minutes to go in the elevator, how long does it take to climb up? I think you could actually hours? climb faster. Uh, you think so? Uh, yeah. Yeah, until you got really mm. tired. Have you I climbed, feel like you could you actually... Eight, like 900 feet? No, I think ladders are easy. 900 feet? I don't know. We should test that out. It's like <laughs> we, we, should, we should test that the out. The bottom top is like a 90-story building. I don't know. I feel like if you got tired, you can like hook your elbow around it. You like, just, just chill. Rest, do you think? Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, you so, could. But, like, you'd probably climb with like a rope and like just like yeah, hang. Yeah. Like, yeah. Wait for the elevator to like put your brake and fall it. down <laughs> on you. It's, is it a completely vertical ladder? Oh yeah. 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 Oh, and it's like not only straight. vertical, but they tried to save wood, and so it's like it's like a foot wide. Yeah. It's a tiny. It's like a super narrow elevator. And it's, and it's made with like two by fours too, so it's yeah. like an awkward shape. You can't like wrap your whole head around it. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? One thing I noticed. It's actually like. A very weird fact is two by fours. Have you ever measured two by four? Yeah, it's not yeah. nowhere near it's a two bullshit. by four. Yeah, Total bullshit. It's, it's like wet when they measure it, right? No, I, Dude, think, I think it's all oh, no, myths. It's, yeah, no, no, no one fucking knows why it's yeah, not a just, two by four. I think it used thing. to be. No, I think the wet thing is is what people think it is, but they actually just cut it. I think smaller. that I think it's, it's like a one by 
three. It's, right? it's one and a half by three and a half. It's, oh, a, it's like a half idea. inch. So that, yeah, it it's definitely like can't just shrink I, yeah. equally half an inch on. What? I think, I think the reason is, I should look this up, but I'm pretty sure that it used to be two by fours. Yeah. 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 And then I think they realized that you could use like, like for, for what they were built for, it was strong enough to use thinner pieces of wood so they could get more wood out of it. I think that's what, what it was. What, you get like one extra two by four per tree? I feel like I saw it where Something like no like one knows. Oh, yeah. and there's like multiple reasons that are like valid. Right, look at reasonable reasonable. I, I think right. now that I think of it, I think the it shrinking because it's wet is factually wrong. <laughs> That is that would be a lot to shrink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that yeah, one. I think that one's wood. completely wrong. But what about like Straight you know sponge. pipe pipe fittings? It's like oh, this is a half inch NPT. There's no dimension on it. That's like a half. Is inch. that true? Or maybe I they're thinking of PVC it. or something. Shit. But yeah, no, you get I, like three inch PVC. I and think shit. you're right because it's it's. I remember that. Or it's, it's iron pipe. Yeah, it's. A, I don't know. One of them. It's weird. Like the the because it's how they measure the. Uh, it's like the the. The valley of the threads or, yes, something, or something like that. And it's like, who'd ever want, care about that oh, dimension? Dude, yeah, yeah, I want that. Like, give me the oh. inside dimension of the hole or the outside dimension of the hole. Oh. Don't give me the thread <laughs> diameter. What the hell? <laughs> Kevin's mad. There were, though, pieces of wood that looked like 2 by 4s that were actually a lot bigger than a 2 by 4 They were much closer to a real 2 by 4 at the mine than a 2 by 4 today, yeah. which I thought and was really two interesting. 2 inches by 4 inches is big. It's for much a piece bigger, of wood. Yeah, yeah. It's really, really big. But it's kind of made, made you realize that we've been like, what? We've been getting ripped off by yeah. the man. Like, I, when I buy a two by four, I expect I two, two by four. By four inches, not yeah. a one and a half by three and a yeah. half. When I buy metal, it's the right dimensions, I think, and hope. <laughs> I think, I'm not, see, what is this? Wood sizing regulations. I'm not really, I'm not sure this is even worth looking up, but. It's definitely it's scammed. That's super fucking boring. It that, probably, yeah. it, it probably, Will, that is just crazy. It's too late. I've Will, already seen the worse, most boring maybe fucking worse thing than you taxes. could ever do. I, I, it's all ads. You I'm trying about to read this, but it's all ads. Oh, yeah, let's, let's, hey, we need oh to. We need to make, we need to spice things up. How do you expense your business dinners? Oh, man. I expense all I, of them, actually. Yeah. yeah. The dinner we just ate, oh, that's business expense. expense. Sure. Yeah. That's I'm not expense. paying taxes on that money. Fuck that, dude. No. I don't pay taxes at all. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I haven't that's paid super taxes smart, in actually. seven years. Dude. Kevin, and now the IRS. Fuck yeah. Why would you, the IRS yeah. is Why would you say that out loud? They're under you. I just, I just want You know to the government that. listens. You know that uh, who's Joe Biden listens to this podcast? That's fine. I heard that, yeah. I, you know I didn't pay my 20 Maybe taxes. I just want them to do more work. <laughs> you know? Find me any money that I missed. Yeah. Uh, why didn't you pay your taxes? My The CPA we were using. Yeah. Just didn't. I, th I thought it was assumed that like I would want to do my taxes that year. I didn't know I had to like ask him to. Yeah, cause like, uh, why else would I? Why else right. would you, we be involved right. together? Yeah, you're. You would do my. Cause I set up the first year. We did the 2018 taxes, and I, and I just I'm like, that's the guy who that's does. How that's we, the yeah, guy. That's how it yeah, happens. Dude, yeah, that's the guy. And then like a, two years later, I got a new CPA, and they're like, okay, where are your taxes for 2019? And I was like. <laughs> Oh, huh. in my email, email now that somewhere, I think right? About it, that's crazy, oh, dude. Man, we did that. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. But but then I I paid them with a new CPA. I have talked to so many people who run their everything the same way. They just they wait for the government to send them a thing saying you owe money. You didn't do this form in time, and you yeah. owe a late fee. And it's like okay, cool. Thanks for the notice of doing this. That's thing. how I do it. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Because it's like it's the actually late like fee isn't that much. It's not. No, it's, it's like never paying that much. a notif It's like paying a subscription service. Yes, to get fucking notifications. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like they will not tell you that something is due until it's too late, and I. Just like okay, great. This is right. fine. That's fine. Right. I don't care. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Arrest me? That's true. I, I haven't been arrested here, yet. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> come at, come at me. Come me? get no. me, Joe Biden. Wait, who actually comes and arrests you? Yeah, the, I think I, it's is Joe. it the IRS? No, it's Joe. It's Joe. Okay. Yeah, you he comes and shoots me, you in the head. You can't make me pay the, the stupid whatever. I don't even know what. Every You've time up to some malarkey. It's a new thing every damn year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I um, I, I hate I hate the business side. I just want to make videos. You know, like Michael. I want to make videos like Michael once uh, once a year. Dude, it's really achievable. Try it, dude. It's so achievable. <laughs> it's, do you do like dude, a lot of? It's actually what's your, easier what's your, than you think. What's your day? <laughs> what's your day job? Do you do like a lot of little projects? I'm a Fortnite player. Um, I do. Yeah, kind of. Like personal projects. Oh, you made a jewelry box. House. Yeah, I did make a jewelry box. That was actually one of the hard. I wish I could have welded it together. Like it would have been easier to make that out of fucking steel than it was to make it out wood. of wood. It sucked to make Are you out of. Trying wood. to use like wood glue or. Nah, I um. Do I see a picture of it? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Like, um, did you do that like the joint like that? I did. I did like yeah. a finger joint. Yeah. Oh, or, like, whoa! Um, is that why it's? So I remember. Like, so you, I remember. Uh, Michael sent me a text uh, like a month or two ago and was yeah. like, you know, can you like, does this make any sense? And he found some free plans online, and I was looking at him, um, and I was like, no, this doesn't no. make any goddamn sense. They were just numbers without yeah. like units. 
they were just like five eighths. Yes. What? Uh, what? It, it was like G G B T G B T chat chat. Mm. G, G, <laughs> yeah, was like G -G oh yeah. G it was like instructions made by an AI. Like it was yeah. everything, crazy, but it was a person. But it was like a person had made yeah. it, and it kind of made sense. But it, when you started trying to figure out, well, how many parts do I actually yeah. need? Then yeah. it stopped making sense. Super like, weird. And I was like, damn, I'm dumb as fuck. And that's why I messaged you. I was yeah. like, am I just brain dead? And like, if I'm doing wood things, because I don't usually do wood shit. Yeah. And like. I, it just didn't make any sense. It was bad. Yeah. What, so what I, was this like? Sorry, what are these instructions you're talking about? It's for a, a woodworking it's for like a jewelry box. Oh, yeah. for, okay, okay, okay. I was making it for Lily's birthday. I made, um, but it was like hard to find like wood that's straight and like not bowed. And so I got like a planer mm -hmm. and a yes, uh, jointer. And like it took me like five or six days. I'm <laughs> just like doing really? this thing. Yeah. I mean, it looks pretty sweet. Yeah, I want to see it. It looks like that. Isn't a joiner like one of the most dangerous woodworking tools? Yeah, it really is, dude. Is it it's terrifying? Just like it's just like an open blade. blade, right? Yeah, it's just an open blade with a bunch of little bits. Ooh, that's cool. Hey, that's I like um, I kind of put all the wood together in like these mm. weird joints and then like together? velveted, felted it. Oh, is that why it's purple? Oh. Yeah, yeah. And then bop, 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 bop. Wow. It's pretty nice. Got nice. Little, little things in it. Pretty sweet. Got a chain Man, in Michael's setting the, setting the bar high. Pretty sweet. And then you made one for Chesley as well. Yes, I did that one in about 20 minutes. Okay, so that, <laughs> I feel like the output to yeah. time ratio on yours was I got about, better. Yeah, we'll I, got about, I got about 5% of the way to what you built in about 1% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> That I mean, that's so it's, pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. It's like five but times efficiency. Yeah, right? yeah, and and I still got you know I get quite a bit out of it. Yeah. But, so uh, is that because you were going for more like just like utilitarian functionality? Yes, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was okay with like five to ten degrees of like rocking yeah, back and forth. It's like this, you, this is the jewelry. Box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's actually, that's actually nicer than the jewelry <laughs> box I made. Yeah, that one retains. <laughs> Mine was made out of fence posts. <laughs> <laughs> That one has more meaning behind it's, it. It's fuzzy too because they run it through the machines really fast, and so it oh, doesn't yeah. make a nice edge on yeah, it. Yeah, that's good. That's good. It's got a nice it's like, like the lichen growing on it. Yeah, it's just was it actually from little nature? Um, a little nature I, terrarium type. I think it, I think it was from the garage. I think okay. I don't know. It may have been outside at some point. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but I did. Did you do woodworking in high school? Nah, dude. I, I haven't did really they do done anything? any wood shit. Did they have life. any shop classes or anything? There was available, but I wasn't in. I was in STEM class. I was in mm. science, technology, engineering, and math. Now it's STEEAM class for science, uh, technology, yes. engineering, art. agriculture, and math. Ag? They used it. Yeah, okay, I thought it was we art. Had, it's agriculture it was now? Yeah, it's ag. Oh my yeah, God. We, had, we had, like, pigs at our high school um, <laughs> that you could, like, Kill. go in oh. agriculture class. <laughs> Feed, I guess. It's a little bacon comes from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stuff with so they, yeah. did they like metal working and stuff you just didn't they do had it? a automotive class and mm, a automotive. fuck i just wasn't in it that's yeah. a cool school we didn't get any of that did you I guess, what? yeah that's pretty cool we didn't get a welding I class did. though did you guys get that in middle america no. i hear those exist no mm. no they i think i think that florida has pretty shitty schools actually because it's all you, do. you don't pay taxes on your income so and they I send think, yeah yeah mm. and they send kids to Kid court. Kid court. Yeah. Kid court. That's badass, though. <laughs> it is. It is. It is a badass, but it also just seems a little a bit cursed. It's kind of like getting you used to the judicial. Ju no, but the jury judicial <laughs> system. The kid juries. The, the juries are all kids. That's so cool. It's like welcome to the system. Like they're like they're priming you. Why isn't there a YouTube show about or a video I on like TV? Kid Kids court. court. Was, we should, <laughs> dude, we should do that. Yeah. It would be a little bit too Florida. Kids court. Well, that's the best part. The they, and I like, How would they even do that? Well, like, Kevin said they... the punishment is that he, you have to sometimes be on kid court. That's yeah. your like you have to be the jury. That's part of the punishment. Oh my God. <laughs> so the jury is giving you the punishment of being part of the jury. And it's like you think we'd all be in this together, but no, those kids are they're, it's like they're vicious. They're yeah. brutal. What if, if you were a government and you wanted to keep kids out of trouble, what if you did like, you know, extracurricular stuff so like wood shop? How they're gonna know how to be in the court system. Or, I know, well yeah. I exactly. It's like instead yeah. of spending our money on getting kids interested in like building shit we're going to spend it on a little court system that's sort of just entertaining for the adults <laughs> yeah. and horrifying for the kids. That is pretty cool, though. Because yeah. I, I, took, I took Woodshop two years in middle school, and I think it was like, this is middle school, too. Which that's is crazy. Weird. Yeah. I, my dad wouldn't let me near like a drill in middle school. Why not? My dad didn't have tools. He didn't he, have tools? Dude, I remember he had... It's easy to keep your Now, in reason. fucking... In retrospect, he had the dumbest set of... Like, the most unreasonable... Like, he had one Sawzall. And, like, like that's like... Why do you own that <laughs> one? If you could buy any saw, yeah. why would it be that one? Right. Um, and just like hammers and like, he has like screwdrivers and just stuff. Just basic crap. Yeah, right. yeah. Like no power tools. And I remember my grandma like gave me a drill and I was like, holy shit, this is so much better than wow. a fucking sawzall. Like a crank. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like, like a crank. Dude, fuck. <laughs> just like, 
punches the wood enough. <laughs> <laughs> Take some ten blades to make a single <laughs> hole. Yeah, because I like I I remember like my dad had a bunch of tools. He had a bandsaw, a chop saw, like just the whole gambit. And I would like That's kind awesome. of you know a little bit do stuff at home, but I didn't really like it. Just not like a super um, good environment for like learning how to do. Because nearly like your dad would have to like teach you. To I, do it. I just, yeah, I built a lot of stuff. I, I, I remember even using, uh, I used the nail gun. Ooh. Oh, wow. And uh, it wasn't like big nails. They were like the little, like, like the furniture nails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nails but I don't even think, I don't know if my dad, I think the training he got was like, he just did, and he's like, yep, that's how it works. It's really easy. Just don't stick your hand in front of it. Uh, I, or behind I, it. I or didn't, behind it. Uh, I, I knew not to put my hand behind it. Yeah. I think I did that once and then I realized it didn't go through my hand. It missed. And then I was like, oh, that's bad. Did he figure, figure out if you like push in the little pin up top, you could shoot the nails? Yeah, I did that. Ah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the one thing that almost got me though is I was, the nail went through the wood. And then, oh, yes. And you have your holding it on the back. Well, yeah. no, I was saying that that could have happened, but I. I it missed? It like went between two fingers or I something? I don't even I don't know if that really happened. What, what did happen was I remember shooting it. It went, I was like, where'd it go? It went through the wood. Then I, I was like, oh, okay, I guess it's gone. But then I looked down, there's just blood coming out of my leg. Because it, it actually went and just went like went whoop, and through just, the wood. Mm. It went through the wood and then yeah. just. It just like you. took a little bit off as it went by. Just a little skin. But it would have went st <laughs> just stuck in my leg. If oh I my screamed. god! Holy and shit. that's when I realized you don't do max power on like. Oh yeah, like on know, a small piece of <laughs> on like a thin plywood. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah, cool. we didn't, so that was like I think the glory of the middle school. Which, yeah, just, uh, that's crazy. We had nothing. My middle school was dog shit. Yeah, yeah. Mine, yeah. mine yeah. was fights dog football. shit up until like the wood shop was the the best thing. So like like the first year of middle school, teacher died. Cool. Woodshop teacher died. Cool, cool. Hell yeah. And so they, they like they canned the whole year. They shoved kids into the other electives. But the next year, a new guy came in, and he he like he like built the shop out to be like it was a kid court, but it was a kid wood shop. It was like the kid version of a wood shop where hmm. instead of a table saw, it was a circular saw, but it was trapped in a little track. So it was like a wooden thing oh, that trapped the edges. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can like put your board under there, and every all the projects were made with these like one foot by like sixteen foot boards or eight foot boards or whatever. They're probably eight foot boards, sixteen is huge. Um, and so like the routers, for example, there was a router table, yeah. but he had these like feeders that you would like put your piece like he feed it almost looked like a really slow moving belt sanders that sat above the blade. So all you had to do was like put your piece of wood there and it would just like suck it through the that's router table for nice. you. Oh, and cool. so the, the injuries, like almost like nobody it's hurt themselves. Impossible. People still oh, did. What a, what a bad class. No one's hurting themselves. One yeah, kid did. I remember this one kid. Okay, he, good. Yeah. He was like, somebody was using a lathe. The lathe, lathes, are, I think, I don't think there's any way to make a lathe safe. Those things are yeah, death yeah, trap. Yeah. This yeah. was in high school. They Middle had a lathe. School. Middle school. They had Middle a lathe. A wood lathe. Yes. A wood lathe. Yeah. It's still scary. I wow. mean, I, I made some really crappy bowls and stuff with it. I, I honestly worth the danger. I cannot imagine. If, if there's any school that's like, we can't do this because it's too dangerous, you need to yeah. quit your job. It, let the kids You're play with a lathe. You're a bad principal. <laughs> yeah, let them, give them a metal lathe. Let them, let them sing, do metal yeah, lathe. Let yeah. them hurt themselves. Let the, who cares if you lose a couple of kids every year? Let them. Give them a the welder. Lathe. Yes, give them a welder. Give them a welder. Just let give them a bunch of metal to yeah. glue together. Yes. Metal, metal hog glue together. Yeah. Uh, so this kid was like, someone was making a bowl or something. And when you're making like, so or, I don't, um, you got the, the backside sometimes, is that for bowls? I don't remember. Uh, they were doing something on the front. The backside usually has a threaded spot because it kind of goes all the way through. So like the spinning shaft comes out the back. Sure. Um, and it's threaded on the inside. So you can put like, I think, I think it's like a bowl attachment or something like that. Yeah. So you can make bowls. <laughs> um, Never used one. So it's threaded. And when the <laughs> machine is on, the shaft is spinning and that inside a threaded part of the shaft is like, like was augering stuff uh -oh. in. So this kid uh -oh. is like, like sitting there, like talking or like watching lining what the other person doing. He's just like sitting there kind of like this. You see him like lining his finger up yeah, to yeah, the hole. Like, <laughs> it, it was just like some, you know, you know when you're just like doing something like fiddling or whatever. And then he like the sticks his finger into the hole and it like sucks his finger <laughs> in because it's threaded. Oh. And he rips his finger out and it peeled off like uh like oh, i don't know like a no. quarter inch or half inch degloved yeah like it kind of like micro degloved or like you know yeah kind of did a what's probably the, like four hundred thousand cuts on his finger well it was just like it's like you saw the intrusive thought live in action yes, happen yeah and it, just, it wasn't even that bad it was, you just like some drips of blood on the floor you can see Damn. where he like went that's to a the... good thing the diameter was like close to the width of his finger I know, what if he had a fatter finger it would be bad. Oh. Ew, ew. But that's that's like the worst one that I think happened when I, I was in class. I can't remember anything else because like you really couldn't hurt yourself. Yeah. Other than you know, the lathe or um. You didn't have any like jointer or anything. No, no joint. There was that's yeah. So that was the thing. Flog. It's like they didn't do any of the crazy shit. It was just sort of all like the super. How does easy. a jointer work? Uh, it's you know, just like a flat. It's kind of like a, it's in there. It's like a flat table, and you just kind of like take a piece of wood, and it's just like this like 
spinning like blade from hell blade yeah. of death that's just okay. like full, it has blade, to be yeah. fully exposed to the bed so the, but there's like a safety cover on it yeah. and the wood pushes the safety cover out of the way but it just like flattens one side of a piece of wood like oh, perfectly okay. flat gotcha it's like, like a table saw the but the blade is like, like six dimensions. inches yeah I've, yeah I've seen like the replacement blades and for whatever reason those up. are like super yeah, 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 like, yeah. i don't know like a piece of paddle to hold the wood to push it into it because it does, yeah. does it want to like spit the wood back out at you or I, or do I people like stick their fingers in there i guess it's like like if you're pushing it and like i don't know your thumb goes i think it's just because it's such a big blade and it's like right on the top mm. of a table it's fucked up i also needed a router table and i was like to for the jewelry box and i was like fuck yeah. i had to have to like for amazon but then I was like, man, and then I just like drilled into a piece of plywood yeah. and drilled a hole in it. I was like, this yeah, is how tools the... are invented, yep. I guess. <laughs> this is my router table. A lot here's... of them have like tapped holes where you could just make your own router yeah. table. Yeah, it's badass. Here's the list. Top 10 most dangerous wood shop tools. Table saw is number one. That, that's, that's, yeah, that okay, yeah. Sense. Dull chisels. Hmm. That's. Because I guess you'd be like pushing really hard and like stab yourself really badly. Maybe you shouldn't be above like uh, edge sander. Saw. A what? Edge sander. Disc sander? I don't even know what that is, dude. Or maybe like no. the angle grinder? This no. They put drill press ahead of joiner? No, this is Drill press sucks. is safe as fuck. What do you mean? Like a sander? How do you hurt? You how, can't how hurt you yourself, yourself that bad. I feel like a sander. drill press is safer than a hand drill, right? I mean, you know where it's going. Mm. Well, I mean, if it's sucks. really powerful and no, maybe. sleeves or something. Yeah, maybe. All right, we trust popular mechanics. I don't know. Ten power tools that could kill you. Every power tool uh, could kill you, popular mechanics. A lot mechanics. of them. God, what a, you know what? Actually, I don't, I, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, then in high school, they didn't do anything. So it was yeah. like, you go into middle school, learn a bunch of wood shop stuff, get super into the idea of like yeah. making stuff. You're like, oh, like, I can use power tools. Yeah. Like you have all sorts of ideas. You yeah. make all sorts of little contraptions. And then um, like, I remember like he had a bunch of instructions on how to do stuff. Like there were kits you could take mm -hmm. uh, and, and he had templates and stuff too. So it's like, oh, I want to make this thing. It's like, okay, you need to make this part, this part, this part. Oh, you need, if you want to make this part, go get a template. And you like go into the drawer, you find the correct template. It's literally like a like a System. MDF version of what you're gonna cut out. And you can like use trace oh, it and cool. advance it. So it was like super super easy. That's a good teacher. Yeah. Oh my god. So he like, like came in and revamped yes, the entire revamped class. the entire class. Damn, good thing that first guy died. I know. Well, I honestly yeah. feel that way yeah. because I don't think I would have had a similar experience mm. with yeah. uh, with yeah. the the guy who did die. Um, sorry, <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you gonna do? And. You know, so you learn a bunch of stuff and you're kind of excited about it. And then you go into middle school or high school and it's like, wah, wah, nothing. Yeah, big old disappointment. Big sad. old disappointment. Like you just get, it's like, okay, so that, yeah. there, that train ends there. Like yeah. no more, no more doing the kind of stuff you want to do. And yeah. No more exploring it. It's like you got to figure it out on your own. Like I just, oh I didn't even know you could like build things until yeah. I got to college. Like I was like. True. Dude, I remember the first time I put up a shelf. I was yeah. like, what the fuck? I was like, holy. Yeah, actually, yeah. it was in my shed at, uh, in Hawaii. And I was like, fuck, I need to put things somewhere. And I went to like the Ace Hardware and I made a shelf and like put my 3D printer on it. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I think you can just do that? Or you can like you make just buy the wood? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I felt so sick. Started putting up shelves for like no fucking reason. <laughs> like useless. I remember thinking uh, in, in middle school doing Woodshop, I was like, man, I wonder how they cut metal. It just seems like impossible. Dude, me too. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think like, I actually like was, it seems it was impossible. Really crazy like to be able to cut metal yeah. when you're like a kid or something or like i know i mean like unless you just do it regularly right. it's, yeah it's such a difficult seeming thing to do yeah. and it is unless you have like the tools like with for wood it. you use metal tools yeah so what the hell do you use for metal metal yeah. <laughs> apparently more, more metal, metal. <laughs> better metal i yeah i just i wish i how wish you got the best metal the best metal they, they have yeah, like, to how do you it. how do you do that yeah yeah they the carbide it's, it's powder and then they compress it and bake it yeah oh yeah, right. <laughs> right. yeah right. it turns out they've got they figured all this shit out a long time ago <laughs> but they, they won't teach it to you you have to learn it on your own yeah like yeah i i don't know i think uh uh i really wish that they had done more stuff i feel like i was i was very stunted definitely yeah i feel like if i would have started earlier it would have been great like I remember even college, like I remember like 3D printers were like the open source 3D, 3D printers were sort of like just like it was just like right at the start of it. And I went to like community college and they had a Stratus, the like cabinet style printers. Like, yeah. Super expensive. Like the size of a fridge. Yeah. Like a hundred thousand dollar printers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the cartridges of plastic are like $400 each. Yeah. And I had made this like little model. I was learning SolidWorks. I made a model of a little vice and I was like, I like, I wanted to print it so bad. Like I was like, I want to print this so bad. So I was like, you know, going around the school, doing the thing I always do. I'm just like hustling, trying to find like, who do I talk to to print this thing? And just like, it was like, all the answers were just no. It was just no, no, mm. no, 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 no. Yeah. And like, I just, 
it makes me die a little bit on the inside. So you got this person who's in your facility, who's trying to do this thing, who's like trying to like figure out and learn new stuff. And it's just, no. Mm. Yeah. We never had like a lot of tools. We had, you know, like your dad had the basic tools. Yeah. Like a screwdriver. <laughs> nothing that would like enable me to really yeah. like make something or like, I just didn't have a reason to make anything. I remember one time I read how to make a blowgun, like from the anarchist cookbook or something like, a like blow that. Dart? Yeah. Like a blow dart. And it was just like literally a a needle, like a sewing needle. And then you wrap a bunch of like thread through the the hole as like the stabilizer. And then you can oh. use a ballpoint pen as the tube. Did and it like work? I made it, yeah, it, it worked great. And I made a couple of the darts and my parents found it. And I was like, I don't know, maybe 10. Yeah. And they freaked out. They're like, <laughs> what the hell is this, Kevin? <laughs> it's a ass. weapon. And I got grounded. And I was like, yeah, that's tough. Yeah, God, I guess yeah. I can't make the tennis ball grenade. I got now. in trouble for that as well. <laughs> Or st stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I made like a thing where you'd spit BBs and I sold them in elementary nice. school. You would do a psh, And like, I, I made like a one with sights and I'd sell it for like more. Nice. Oh, sweet. Dude, I got it so much. I used to like try to sell so much shit um, when I was cool. a kid. Not like weapons, yeah, that. I would be like, dude, I could serrate your ID card if you want. I could like, I would just rub it against like a fence. And, and the fence <laughs> was like, like yeah, <laughs> that was five bucks. I can, I can, yeah, I would just like serrate it and be like, eh. And like, you try to cut someone with it. Um, what? <laughs> and I, oh, I did, um, you know I started this. You wasps like that? Huh? With oh, the yeah, rubber band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, those are sweet. Yeah, Put, like metal in there. I tried to sell um, fucking soda when I was in middle school. I sold gum in middle school. Yeah, yeah. and and it's like like it's a good idea. You know, you would spend like twelve dollars or like two dollars yeah. on the soda, like and then you get twelve dollars yeah. for the soda, yeah. and you sell it. And like I like my parents were super strict about for some reason that, and like. I would like, so I hid it on my grandparents' roof. I hid the soda, and before school every day, I climbed up on my grandparents' roof and got the soda and brought it down and put it in my bag. No it was outdoor way. soda. It was warm <laughs> outdoor soda. And like, it was like cans? It was canned, yeah. yeah. And so my bag was like so eight you could, pounds. So you could only fit heavy. like a couple, like, you know. I could that. fit like a 12 pack a 12 in there. 12 pack. Yeah. And like, but my mom found out one day and she got so pissed and she was like, I'm going to call the cops on you for You're selling like, soda why? in school. What? And I was like, Ooh. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> I kids sell shit like food yeah. all the time in middle school. Yeah, um, like musubis and stuff. I was like, fuck. And I was like, shit. There's the end of my business Dude, career. They would make musubis and bring them. That's to... the most Hawaiian yeah, thing I've people ever. People do musubis. Um, they'd sell like, <laughs> dude, in the back of class. Uh, a, a good thing is just eating ramen dry. So you. Crack oh, the flavor yeah, pack yeah. and eat it and, dry. And you, like, uh, put the dude, on it. yeah, yeah. So yeah. like the kid, but you have to break it up first. So, so just from the back of the class, you just hear fucking thwack, <laughs> thwack, crunch, crunch, thwack, crunch, crunch. What are you doing? And he's just like smashing fucking ramen against the floor so they can eat it. Yeah. It's great. It was good stuff. What what do uh, uh, Hawaiian schools have for lunch? Is it just the same old American crap? No, nah, no, nah, they got a couple good things. Yeah. It is like you know pizza and burgers and yeah. stuff, but like. Best days were like Kahlua pork, which is like uh, just a really good shredded pork and cabbage. That was like the best like days. Like real pork, like actual real pork. It tastes like real pork. I, don't, I feel like that's, I don't think any school I've ever yeah, been no, to has anything that resembles that anything. That was the best, yeah. those were the best days, easily. Yeah. Like Kahlua if you pork can't days, get it out of a can, you can't serve yeah. it. Was probably it like once a month or? Uh, yeah, probably once a month. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and uh, I mean, that, that was delicious. There were, I think a couple more like random good dishes. I think once out of my entire K through 12, they had um, Lao Lao. Which is like better pork, like yeah. a, a more traditional Hawaiian mm. in tea leaf wrapped pork. Oh Holy yeah, shit. we had some of that when we were there. Which yeah. is crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, but once. And once that was in like a school, like a public leaves. school. Like in, yeah. yeah, in a public school. Yeah, but, but it was really good. That, that was a good day. Um, in high school though, I never ate school lunch because I just would. I told my mom I need lunch money. I'd take it. I would keep Buy it. drugs. And then I would just not eat for the day. That's, that's a so good strategy. Epic. Yeah. Super good. And then I just eat a lot at the end of the day. I cannot believe. Once, Once I'm home. Once yeah. I'm home, yeah. <laughs> what would you do with the money? Just whatever? Yeah, whatever. McDonald's randomly, yeah. like weird that I'm, yeah. yeah, not eating so I could eat McDonald's. Yeah, but sure. then you can like go out with your friends and True. do something yeah. with food. So I could go. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I remember I would get, I would yes. buy, like, the only thing I'd buy at school was, like, chocolate milk. I really, actually, the now that I think back to my high school days, it's kind of messed up that they just don't give you free food because you said, <laughs> I know. Like, all yeah. sorts of Dude, I was always shit. so hungry. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, like, I'm not, like, I don't have any money to buy stuff. I mean, or yeah. if I do, it's like, that's not what I want to spend my money on. Oh, okay. I got a question for you guys because we just found this out in, like, this house with my roommates where not everyone did this. Do you guys have calf duty in school? What's that? Where Calf you, duty? I'm also Canadian, but yeah. Cafeteria duty? Where, like, you as kids... No? You like as cows? kids would need to go to the cafeteria and work in the cafeteria. What? No. Man. 
That sounds kind of cool though. Yeah. So like, yeah, so every, so sometimes like a class would get selected and like half of, not half of the class, but like five of the kids out of the class would have to leave, go to the cafeteria like before like an lunch. hour early thing? Yeah, like an hour, 45 minutes early. This is great. Out of class, like but that. then you must work. Yeah. You must like, you're, you're on dishes, you're like on fucking serving food. And dude, if your friend came by on the lunch line, you're like, hey, extra tater tots, fucking easy on me. And you just like give everyone extra shit and the kid you hate, you give nothing. <laughs> oh, that's so <laughs> yeah. One um, tater tot for you, you piece of yeah, shit. Yeah, you get one tater tot. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, the worst part was you'd have to interact with kids and ask them if they want the food. Yeah. Um, Did but it you was wear not like so hairnets bad. and stuff? Yeah, you'd have to wear gloves and shit. But like, <laughs> I guess American schools don't have that. No, they Hawaii they, did for no, some. No, they'd rather spend their money on keeping kids like incarcerated and by the, the campus officer for yeah, what, reasonable. like showing up late or some shit. Yeah. What do they do? It's all sorts of dumb shit you can get in trouble I, for. I remember my school had a salad bar, but it was extra. It was like way more than a normal school lunch. Like normal school lunch was, you know, a dollar fifty. Yeah. Salad bar was like three bucks. What the fuck? Yeah. What the yeah. fuck? Uh, yeah, and you could put like, you know, the nice little cubed pork up in there and like all kinds of Oh, that of sounds stuff. good. Oh my God. What the fuck? Yeah, it was. Yeah. <sighs> we had some like. And you get, yeah. Shit. I remember they did Domino's Pizza. We, but, yeah, that's awesome. God forbid, they just do normal Domino's Pizza. They had a special dough to meet the like dietary requirements mm. of the state or government. No way. So it was like the standards. Wheat. Yes. It was Ew, like a wheat. wheat pizza? It was like a Ugh. whole wheat pizza dough. Like something that is like sort of just out of your night. Like, okay, yeah. first of all, it's pizza for Christ's sake. Like it's like, yeah, that's if, you, if you need to make the pizza healthier, just don't serve pizza. I did like keto pizza or something. It was the, the dough, like the crust looked like, you know when you get like whole wheat bread? It was just like yeah, it's super fucked. dark and like fucked, yeah. yeah, it was like nobody dry wants this. And yeah. yeah, I was gonna say it's like dry and hard. Yes. And they like stopped serving like whole chocolate cracker. milk. It was, there was no more whole milk, no more whole chocolate mm. milk. And so it's like I just stopped drinking. Like I'm not, I, I'm not drinking the, you know, like oh God forbid, there's some fat in the in the sugary milk. We had like, Chick Fil A. Like every day they would drop off like a couple hundred chicken sandwiches. Really? Yeah, that's kind of hundred. Cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, they were popular. So you you had to pay for them though. Yeah, they were like four bucks for the. chicken I think sandwich. we had Jamba we Juice. Had pizza. We're like, mm. but after school, and Jamba Juice would just come set up a table and sell the kids. And I don't know how the fuck how you get you to sell to pure that? sugar to kids, yeah. but they just did. I think what happens is the schools get like a kickback. 100%. I, think, I actually yeah. think it's yeah. really cursed. Like it's really bad. They did, yeah. Where they like let them come on campus, they do sell their crap, and the school just gets like a little bit of money from it. Like even the uh, like senior photos and stuff like yeah. that, right? Like, Dude, this one teacher was just getting free money by selling cup ramen at school. And they would, because f- they were like running a student organization, and part of the student organization's duties, you have to be the fucking point of sale guy to sell the cup ramen at lunch. <laughs> and you'd have to like go in the back and make it. So, and he was keeping the money. He was just keeping the money. Wow. That's he genius. was a huge asshole. Anyway, yeah. Mr. Tanaga, go or fuck like, yourself. <laughs> <laughs> they would have kids, right. kids go to local yeah. businesses and, and try to get money to like, you know. To give to the school. Yeah, to get yeah. money for the school for like, you know, prom or something yeah. like that. You know, they had a rule and it would came in right as I came into high school, uh, maybe middle school too, of like no soda on campus. So That's they used nice. to have soda vending machines. I remember Damn. like, we would go to really? the high schools and they'd have soda vending machines. I mean, this is like probably That's 2000 crazy. and That's crazy. like, Jesus Christ, like maybe 2003 yeah. when I was like really, really little. Yeah. Um, I remember being like, oh, like those, the high schools have soda fountains. And like right, like the year, a couple of years Oh, dude, you got school. fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But no, don't worry. They still have like fruit juices, like the oh, Tropicana like stuff, which is sugar. literally just uncarbonated yeah. soda. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just as bad. Just no, if it was bubbly, juice. you couldn't have yeah, the bubbles. I was like, we did it. <laughs> Woo. Do you know, here's another question. Do you guys have, do you guys go to an outdoor school or an indoor school? What does, what does that, that mean? Outdoor? Okay. See, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah like one we're building in tropical or climates. multiple yep. buildings? No, so it's multiple buildings just like disconnected and you, to get to classes, you would walk yeah, out. Yeah, And there was like yeah. usually like a covered breezeway or something. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. could like concrete and shit. It must yep. were like that, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. mine are all indoors. Yeah, but, Canada, but it wasn't, it was just one giant building though? No, it was like multiple buildings. Yeah, what about yours? Yeah, it's just one big building. Oh, yeah. interesting. I saw most of our high schools. Okay. No, I was going to say the, the high schools I've seen around here in California, those are prisons. Yeah. Like when I drive by one, there's like barbed wire on it, basically. What, you, what, what school? How are you, you going to keep the kids in? All of yeah. them. How you, they want to, they don't want to be there because it sucks. How you gonna, how it's you like, gonna... I look at it and I was like, yeah. this is a prison. I was driving by with my brother and he goes, no, no, that says, oh, high that says high school. It's cool. so pretty much how everything here works. Is you Instead of trying to make them want to be there, you force them yeah. to be there. Because I was going to even say, Kevin, when you, the other day you said, because you got in trouble for leaving your school yeah. at lunch. Yeah. I just remember my high school, you could leave it like, because high school in... Quebec is grade seven to eleven. Okay, but you can just leave. I'm pretty sure grade seven in my school. Well, what's grade twelve? Damn, 
Grade 12 doesn't exist in Quebec, oh. but now the rest of Canada does. You can just leave. Were you mm. allowed to leave campus ever? Like, I was not. Uh, no, I was we were not. But no. my school special. Not in the middle of the year. No one gave a fuck. My brother's Could you ever like, like drive grade nine. somewhere for lunch? You could not drive for lunch. No, they closed the gates. Uh, so you drive we were lunch. able to drive for lunch. Really? But you had to have like decent grades, yeah. Oh, really? that, ah, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But if, if had... kids just like show up to school like halfway through the day and like no one would really care. <laughs> yeah. One dude, one fucking kid. <laughs> so dumb. His name is Dylan. Uh, <laughs> hey, he, shout Dylan out to Dylan. Dylan. Awesome, Dumbass. dude. I actually loved having him in my, in my class because he was like, he was like, he just did the dumbest shit ever. Like he came in the middle of PE class once and he had like, just like a Dylan. huge fucking rip in his uh, shorts. <laughs> like his, uh, his ass like, is hanging out? Uh, yeah, his whole like underwear showing and his like his um, like, uh, swimming shorts and she was like what the fuck are you why dylan <laughs> and he was like bro mister i just got to school and i had to hop the fence so i could come and like, start <laughs> <stop them." laughs> just, like you could just walk in the gate yeah. it wasn't like closed <laughs> he just hopped the fence for like no fucking reason like a dumbass <laughs> he also was like we were running the mile once and he just took a huge drag off his vape in front of the teacher dude we had a funny PE teacher. we were we were running laps um you have to run four laps to Is a mile the fish guy no, PE different teachers are always guy, kind of different crazy. than the fish guy. Okay, this yeah. one guy, we were like running laps, and he was like, "Hey, are you sure you need your four laps?" And it, like everyone would lie, they'd add an extra lap. <laughs> you sure you need your four laps? And the, the kids would be like, "Yeah." And he looked at, "Are you sure? Are you lying? If you lie, you go to hell." <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in hell, <laughs> kids. <laughs> PE oh, teachers so are always kind of like fried and crazy. Like, mine was cool. Really? In no, was mine, cool. mine was wild. He would like he would smoke cigars outside of the oh, classroom. Shit. That's awesome. And he'd be like, no, you can't do that anymore, dude. What are you doing? And so he would just like sit there in class and chew on his cigars. He would just like... <laughs> yeah, that sounds what? like... He just that sounds normal. Normal. He'd spit him you in know a trash chewing can. tobacco exists. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, cigars. He his own chewing tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Ew. Yeah, we had a pretty good PE teacher in middle school. Um, I, I don't really... There were definitely weird ones. Maybe I just got lucky. Did you, yeah, you do PE? It was cold as hell up where you are. Hmm? Was mine? Gym, probably. Yeah. You do it Why inside? My teacher was okay. Yeah. Who's yeah. your worst teacher? Who was my worst teacher? <laughs> I don't want to call anyone out. I, I, you, I'll, I'll call a lot. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll call people out. out. I some really shitty teachers. Yeah, I did too. I had this one teacher. He wasn't particularly bad. I mean, he was pretty bad, right? Yeah. But I just did not like the guy. He would always just like, he was always up on me, like, you know, yelling at me for anything in class. And uh, I get out of high school and I see him at the movie theater during summer. Were you working? Yeah, working during the oh, summer no, in a movie theater. Nothing, oh, and no. it's actually kind of sad because he needed the money. But I was, also, I was oh, like... Oh, he was working. Yeah, oh. he, he was. He was like the guy that like checks your tickets mm. like for the final time before you get inside. Oh, yeah, that's kind of cursed. Yeah. It's weird. Jeez, but, even though he's a dickhead, it still feels kind of shitty. I know. You're like, you're like oh, <laughs> I think I might be a dickhead too if I had to <laughs> work two jobs, including one of them being a teacher. Yeah, that's a tough job. I had one. Uh, there was two... Um, freshman year, uh, it was my English teacher. She was just like insane. And yeah. she would like talk about her relationship. It's always the English teachers. Table. Yeah. There was something really wrong yeah. with her. Um, like she would, she would give us homework over breaks that essentially would consume like the entirety of the break. Dude, we had a couple oh, of those. Yeah. those suck. Those like, are the worst. like a, a huge reading assignment. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, reading yeah. Assignment. Like, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, it was like making a binder, like with all of the stuff, and it was like it was Dude, like forty pages so of fucked. shit, fifty pages. It was like, it's what so are you dumb. like? What? Yeah. Like, what am I? You're gonna make dude. me hate school. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, you'd have to. Was that you'd have to do it to get into the class like the next year? Oh, there you was know, like, dude. yeah, there. We did have like summer work and honors yeah. classes. Too. Yeah, for honors, it's yeah. like to do this, you must I, do a summer project. Whoever came up with summer work, dude, I would. If so if, I, if you were in the room here with me right now, I would. I would beat you to death, to death with a rubber. I would. Rubber. I would <laughs> help. All like, I had to do is just reading. Like we had to read a couple books over the summer. Ah, oh, that's kind of. A lot I, to honestly, say, so. though, no. Yeah. No. Let kids b- I know, b- I, play with bombs I learned, and shit. I learned how to read quickly. So yeah. it's like maybe a week you just like... Would, I definitely... But you have to like... Anna, do they make rip. you annotate them? No. You just have to oh. read it and oh. write like, like yeah, a quick... Yeah, no. We like, would have to like thing. read and annotate. You'd have to like highlight... Cry. No, it wasn't that bad. Cool. I feel we did like I a, had to do that, but I never did. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. took the L. didn't happen. I just took the L. Yep. We had a life act. There was a there was AP English and honors English. And if you said you would fuck, you, oh, you transfer in. I, I, yeah, I said I would do honors English, and the last second you switched to AP English, like at the start of the new year. So it's like, oh, I can't do the fucking yeah. reading assignment. Different Oops. teacher, so you didn't have to do either classes uh, assignment. But I got super, but I fucked myself because then I was in AP English and got shit on because it was AP <laughs> English. Uh, I dropped out of AP English senior year. I did all like AP stuff. 
And you're like, this one's not the one. They started, it was all like Shakespeare and stuff. And I was just like, yeah. I nope. think that we're just going yeah. down this rabbit hole again. I think that Shakespeare <laughs> sucks. I think how that if dare you if you're forcing kids to read Shakespeare who don't want to read Shakespeare, Shakespeare let them I don't know I would have done another math class or a science class give me anything other than Shakespeare I would have rather you know written essays of like creative writing yeah. than Shakespeare I don't give a shit about Shakespeare I don't care what anyone says there's to nothing me. special there's about Shakespeare there's nothing special it's just it's, it ha I mean, first didn't... of all it's like a, there's one of the stories is straight up like pedophilia oh yeah, yeah. The, it, Romeo and Juliet no right well yeah, they're, no, both. That one's they're, they're both kids right uh, no, one's like 18 and the other one's like six or something. I don't know. <laughs> you clearly skipped exactly. the class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is why you needed to read it. I, I tried <laughs> reading it, but it doesn't make any sense. Every, nope. you, you know, there is an entire industry about making summaries More concise, yeah. of books because nobody understands them. You know, I remember we took like a post. Kevin, like do you remember that uh, that movie? It's like Shakespeare, but it's set in like modern day New York, but it's like they still all... Greece? No, no. No, it's like, but the, the dialogue is all Shakespeare. Oh. It's all like the exact dialogue. Oh, I dialogue. think I do remember the, yeah. like, a horrible movie And like it's like, that. oh, cool, we get to watch like a movie. It's like the Shakespeare story. And they, they nope. show you the worst movie ever humans have ever produced. Yeah. I remember like, like the senior year of English was like a lot of like poetry and stuff too. And you're like reading, because it's all like just that kind of, like we're going to give you the most convoluted, confusing English yeah. ever written yeah. in human history. And it was like, what does this poem mean? And I was just like, I'm like, you know what? I don't give a shit. You I don't know? think the author gives a shit. I don't think anyone gives. I don't think when the author wrote this, he had he or she had any intent on people analyzing the poem in yeah. this way. Like I've heard, I've heard stories of like poetry being written, and then people analyzing it, and then the author coming out and saying like that, that doesn't. Like, that doesn't make any sense. No, I drank like four bottles of absinthe yeah. before I wrote this. <laughs> I was high. I was high on PCP, and it I means, wrote that. It poem. meant nothing actually. Yeah. I, I do think that analyze it i think the problem is there's nothing wrong with analyzing poetry or any of the literature it's just like what you said like why yeah because like now that we do youtube stuff like watching a youtube video and going like why <laughs> why would you ever make a video like a poetry no no i'm saying like you watch someone's video and go like why was this compelling why was well this we good? tell you why it's good we but tell you things. i'm just saying that so i can understand <laughs> yeah but why but, why old like old english poetry why not i'm not, like, I'm, not diff I'm just yeah, saying yeah. that i can understand in a certain way where no, we need like, someone needs if, someone to kick if there's back. a poem that's like very well renowned it's kind of like understanding why it's good there is a value but it they and when we do youtube understanding why youtube video is good yeah. makes perfect sense because right. that helps us but these 16 year old kids analyzing a poem they're not really sure like so what they're trying to do right is to teach you it's like some kind of like critical thinking yeah stuff. but it's it's not clear that that's what they're learning i i so think just i don't think so into, like, something more modern i think like yeah. but like half the teachers like there's no way there's no way there's no way. I think that's the idea. Is like critical maybe thinking. like fundamentally. Well, so like that's the why the state sets just like, those standards. Yeah. The state's like you need to to read this, and like mm. behind the scenes, they're like yeah for critical thinking. But the teachers, they're, they're not really. They don't really know that. The they're connections not, not there. Yeah. yeah. I just like I I remember taking a philosophy class in in community college, and I I like vividly remember like putting together and like spending a bunch of time, and like I was like you know what I kind of like I caught, got into this one. I thought this was interesting. I yeah. wrote something out, and they gave they, they like failed me on it. And I was sitting there and I was like you're actually wrong about that. <laughs> and I was like. Yeah, first of all, I was like, okay, first of all, none of this makes any sense at all. And what I said can't possibly be that wrong. Like, it might not be the best thing, but isn't the whole point of philosophy of, like, thinking about things that don't make sense to begin with? My, because we do, we have CEGEP in Quebec, which is kind of like grade 12 and first year. What is it called? College. CEGEP. It's, it's an acronym. C-E-G-E-P. -E okay. um, I don't remember what it stands for. But you have to take humanities. And they're, they're actually some of my favorite classes. Um... Humanities? Yeah, because the teachers were, what, were good. That's like, like what that history is. and no, something? it's just like you get. They're kind of like they go over things like morality mm. and like critical thinking. And like one of my teachers I had, I remember they're actually pretty. All the ones I had for humanities were really good. Um, one of them was like all about like authority. So you'd go over like the Milgram experiment, the Stanford Prison experiment, and trying to like understand why people. Like, kind of like uh, some psychological history almost. Yeah, it's kind of like why do how do people have power over other mm. people? Like it was a very interesting that class. Seems, that actually seems like a very valuable. And you know what the teacher class? did? What she literally gave the answers to the test, and people still failed. Yeah. Uh, but the class that I really liked too was it was a critical thinking one, and the teacher, it, it was all about just being skeptical. Mm. And I remember one of her assignments I really liked was she had like a, a list of seven things, and it's like just random. It was like. Uh, think of the first, think of something red and write it down. And you made like a list of seven things. 
And it was just go to the library and, you know, go to a random section, open a book, and, like, there's these whatever instructions. Write down the first noun. Dude, you were in fucking scavenger hunt class. No, but that's what? not a class. No, but just listen. Just listen. Just listen. Fucking, they were trying to keep him from getting in trouble with the law. Just listen, listen. Once you had your list of seven items, <laughs> before you before you did all of that little scavenger hunt, she gets all the kids out of the class. She was and like chewing on cigars. No, just listen. She goes, you have to answer. You have to ask a question. There's a question you have to come up with, and it's not yes or no. So it's not like should I go to school? It's like that's a yes or no. It's kind of like what should I be when I grow up, or grow up? Like what should I pursue as a career? Then you'd find these seven items, and she goes, you now need to use these seven random things to write an essay to answer the question and argue why like this, like the answer. I honestly don't hate that. Yeah. yeah. No, but that sounds kind of like her, a unique thing. Her thing was yeah. the yeah. more convincing you can be with these, her whole her, her point was with conspiracy theories and everything. She goes, you can take anything and justify anything. Yeah. So she was, it was just an exercise to yeah. show people that. Sounds like a cool teacher. And she yeah, was just, she's like, like most outlandish stuff. She goes, you'll get a higher grade. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So you're like learning how to be ridiculous. Yeah. Like, it was, in a convincing was, way. Exactly. She's like, she's like, if you can, yeah. She's like, the better you are at like bullshitting me. Yeah. She goes, the higher grade you'll have. So that's why I, I feel like. It was a really it, fun oh, class. Man. That's good. That's kind of what kids do anyway, yeah. just without that assignment. Right. Just like learn to do that. And, and she would lesson to learn. Well, she said that. She goes, you guys like, you know, making stuff up on your assignment. Well, it's the perfect assignment. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I, I, yeah. I wish I wish I had. It was a fun. I really liked the class. Like that. I really wish yeah, I that's did. Cool. I would do a lot of bullshit. In yeah. yeah. That's cool. Dude, this teacher was cool, though. Like, it was, I think, I remember one class, there was a kid who was, like, not paying attention. So she asked him, she's like, hey, like, uh, like what's up? I noticed you're not paying attention. And then he was honest. He's like, oh, I have an exam, like, like next class. And she goes, are you prepared for it? And he's like, honestly, I've been, like, swamped. I'm a little bit behind. And she goes, well, do you want to go study for it? And he's like, uh, maybe she was well, if you want to leave just go and study for your test what? like she was like super cool yeah, she's bad at, that was, that's yeah cool. no so everyone like Here, so my senior english teacher i'll give you the exact opposite experience <laughs> <laughs> we had to we had to do something called the senior hero project which i think they've Dude, actually i had a senior year project now. as well did you do it too oh, yeah I, I it's probably the same shit first mm -hmm. all-nighter i've ever pulled in my entire life they, there were a couple of these hell projects where it really felt like it was the administrator or the faculty's kind of like pet projects mm -hmm. to be like oh our students are doing all these things and yeah it was yeah. about like community outreach and like yeah did you need yours to graduate so as well? yeah you had yeah. to do it to graduate you had to do like 70 something hours of community yeah, service. yeah yeah we had the same shit you had to write all about it. Dude, I and so lied. I was going to the state science fair completely. My school did not do a science fair. Like I was going because I like entered the yeah, science, yeah, science yeah. fair on my own. And so I was excused. And that was the day that we were supposed to do the, these projects. So I had to do mine like either early or later or whatever. Um, long story short, my English class, I had a C in the class. And I was like, there's no way I have a C in the class. It's like end of the year. We're about to like, you know, leave. And I'm like, I, I don't, I like don't get C's at least in high That's school. Passing, I didn't. Dude. Um, <laughs> But it was like, I was sitting there, I'm like, I, there's no way I got to see in this class. Uh -huh. You know, have you ever, you know, I mean, just like, you kind of like sometimes know if you're doing so, bad. Yeah, I, I, yeah, you have a general idea. Yeah. And a C doing, was like, it doesn't match it, up. It, yeah. didn't, it, didn't, it didn't make sense. Like, I know, I know when I've done bad. And, sure, yeah. and uh, I definitely did, hadn't done bad I mean, enough for that. Bad, but. Um, <laughs> it's not bad, no, but, but it was like, I'm not going to take a C if I think I did like got a B or even right, C. Yeah, right, or right, right, right. Uh, and so to. he was like, no, well, like the grade is what you, what you did and you got, and you, yeah. but, uh, he had never entered in the points for that hero assignment because I had done it on a different day and he hadn't kept track of it. So it was just zero. And he was, ar yeah. And he had, ar he was arguing with me and I was like, this is, there's no way. Dude. And it, I was, that was the realization that like none of this matters. These teachers don't give a shit. Dude, it's all like a they're like they just come system. up with the dumbest yes. shit ever. I had the same shit where like this kid in my well, I was like turning an assignment like fuck the day after because we were doing something, yeah. and he was like, and there was this other kid in front of me who tried to do the same thing. His name's like I don't know Kai, and he's like trying to turn it in, and the teacher's like sorry can't do it, and then I tried to turn it in. He was like nah dude it would be unfair to Kai if I took your assignment. I was like. Then take it for fucking Kai. Yeah. He's standing five feet away from you, yeah. and he just asked you. Just take it. Yeah. Just oh, take no. it for both of us. But in yeah. the real world, see, if you turn in some, you can't do something late after the due date. Fuck well, you. Well, guess what? I'm a year late on a video. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Does, 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 you know how many times I push back to the Congress <laughs> continuously like not approve the budget? Yeah. Too? Yeah. Like, As a like a point of yeah. <laughs> I mean, and, wait, oh, we talking about the same government that like sold crack to people in the eighties? Is that what you're talking about? Those oh, guys? Or the, the yeah. people that say they're gonna come fix your internet at your house at three o'clock and they show up at four o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Day. You know what? Honestly, it turns out you can do shit yeah. as late as you want. And as late as you want. It's actually just in school. Yeah. It's actually just in school. Yeah. Like they make you like, oh, college is gonna be so hard, and we're gonna prepare 
pay for college. College community. College I didn't use cursive in college. Yeah. Oh, dude, nobody uses cursive. My my, That's my crazy. signature yeah. is maybe it's because you're 80 years old yeah. and you had curry and you had to use cursive before the we fucking typewriters were in school. Computers. And they still were doing cursive. <laughs> Listen, cursive is good. Checks are good. Ugh. Email is bad. Dude, I got a little That's duck a... on my signature line. They oh, take oh. all of that. You want to learn about how you don't get in credit card debt? Too, you got to go figure that out somewhere. We're not oh. going to tell you this magical little card that gives you money. What about construction work? Cards. Oh, yeah. Construction that, yeah, work? Oh, yeah. It's always on right on time, you know? Oh. Everything's yeah, always it's done. right on time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, always. Do we just throw them what, in the uh, hole if it's not done? Did you guys done? ever have an assignment that you, like, bullshitted really hard on? Pretty much everything, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah. Doing like the the, the period point uh, fourteen font mm. font period oh, trick. Yeah. Oh, like, that's a good one. You like yeah. buff the space out. You would just you'd search the periods, replace it with uh, fourteen. Yeah, we had a couple of kids who were brave enough to like do white font and just like put it on a white background, and it Whoa. would lie about the word count and the total thing. Right? Super smart. Oh, they yeah. would. Yeah. Oh no. We way. had a couple. Yeah. Of, Holy I, shit! I, did, that's I pulled a, genius. Yeah, I had a couple where I I did a um I would. I wrote like a shitty file and you had to send corrupted it a file. It? Just corrupted it, yeah. yeah. A, that's a good one. Change you know, like a, an image to a, you know, DLC. Yeah, like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We pretty much went to school like right before all that like essay tracking stuff yeah. came in. Like, mm. You know, like the plagiarism checkers and stuff yeah. like that. Uh -huh. When so, I, I was a TA though and I was, uh, <laughs> people didn't like me. No, I, as a TA, I didn't accept any of that. So like people would, <laughs> no, no, you narc. You're an ass no, narc. No, 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 no. Narc. It was, narc. it was easy work and people would do things that one guy copy pasted a picture from Google images. It said like, draw out the reaction. It was a chemistry, I was a chemistry TA. It's like, draw out the reaction. The guy just co literally copy pasted like a 50 was he wrong was that not the reaction yeah, dude, I copy -pasted it was it so Ke kevin it was so pixelated i almost couldn't see it and it had chinese writing on it <laughs> okay i didn't and know you knew I, I was like i cannot accept this this i just wrote this to the guy but could you not have found my you feedback be ashamed was, of this your plagiarism is even bad my feedback that was zero and one and i think i said could you not have found a better image off of google <laughs> like like i looked it up and there was better he just literally copy pasted like i think it was for the one, wrong right? reaction too that's Why? funny. I don't know what he was doing. I, mean, I just didn't want to do that. <laughs> and it. some people gave the worst answers, and they would be shocked when I gave them zero. How many classes did you guys fail? You failed um, classes? Uh, I've never, fail. I've in, never. In high school, I failed, failed quite one. a few classes. Yeah, I failed my history class and had to retake it with freshmen. It was very sad. Yeah, freshman year high school? No, I was a senior, and I had to retake it with freshmen. Oh. Uh, yeah, which felt very bad. Because I... It was a date where we had to turn in a bunch of assignments, and I was like, fucking sick that day. And then I got to Skyrim. class, and he did not tell me that we had to turn them all in on that day. Yeah. And and I, I, the worst part was, like, I came up to him, and I was like, hey, man, I'm going to fail this class because it's, like, the end of the year. And he's like, I already put the grades in, brah. <laughs> and I was like, dude, fuck. You can, you can fix this. I know you can fix this if you want to fix it. That's the same guy who <laughs> missed our te That's the same teacher who was absent one day of school and came back to school the next day with the new iPhone that released the day before <laughs> because he was waiting in line oh, at the Apple God. store to get the new iPhone. Yeah. Yeah. Also super I think girls. we're paying teachers too much. We need to cut their... Yeah. If they can afford iPhones, they're getting paid too much. <laughs> I, I think he can't afford it. That oh, that's, <laughs> that's part of the problem. Yeah. You're taking the day off work too? How much the iPhone cost him? <laughs> A day salary plus the phone? <laughs> Dude, I had the best science fair experiment. Did I tell you about the one where I would like test the conductivity of different materials? No, I don't think so. It was my greatest grift ever. It was all four years of high school. Same science experiment. I'd say, okay, this... I'd have a bulb and like a battery. And oh. I was like, this is the conductivity of gold and then silver and copper. And I talk about conductivity and, and it would all go to three different light bulbs. And I was like, see how this one's kind of brighter. It was all the same wire. <laughs> it was all copper <laughs> from the same fucking thing that I like colored a little differently. And they're like, Whoa, it lights up. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, they I'll, always A all the time on that one. Well, actually, they're going to like retroactively go back and change your grade <laughs> yeah. to failure. Destroy my I remember permanent record. Academic career. It's reminding me of the science fair stuff. Man, I half asked that too, and I almost won an what award. What were your experiments? So it, it was kind of funny. I, they, I think I came up with them like the day before every single time. <laughs> Uh, and they were all basically my dad did my project. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Nigel's dad. Uh, my dad, though, one day, I was like, I don't have a project. And this was like the day before. <laughs> the first it. one was my dad. I don't know why he came to He goes, you know what I've always wanted? He goes, I want a telescoping wrench. <laughs> like, just like, uh, just to get more leverage. 
So it just gets socket wrench, yeah. They'd which like is the larger ex- pipe, so you would extend. Oh, yeah, so we yeah. made one, a and people were like, people really liked it. But my dad just made it because he kind of liked the concept. Like wanted it, yeah. yeah. And the other one was, uh, my dad. This is like an old project he was working on with like rubber and epoxy to like recycle tire rubber and epoxy and use epoxy and stuff to bind it and to make different things. I didn't have an idea, but my dad was like, I don't know how we figured it out. We just cut a Coke bottle. We mixed up like a, a epoxy and like some other stuff yeah, in yeah. it, <laughs> poured goop. it in, and then it just solidified it into like a solid block. Yeah. And then I cut the uh, the, the bottle epoxy. off. Yeah. And I think it just then took we a- turned, We turned trash into just trash. Just a piece of metal. Just <laughs> yeah. like straight up like piece of metal that my dad had around. We just drilled a hole in the epoxy block, put the thing- the ha- like the thing and called it a, ha- a recycled hammer. <laughs> Dude, that's a shit that would have gotten an A at my school is, too. I they still, love I, that. I still have the hammer. It's just a black piece of plastic. Wait. And people were like, oh, I almost won the award for like environmental. Like, and they were literally yeah. just using epoxy. Dude, they love that yeah, shit. Yeah, but I said I put like, like put rubber, I put recycled the rubber in. <laughs> I still have lot. the hammer somewhere. My dad has it. That is awesome. I and we still have the wrench. I did. I did. Uh, it's so I did bad. Three. So the one I was like, I built this little like little stupid, like uh, like one of the first things I ever built was like a little electric motor on some popsicle sticks glued together. It was just like a little shitty windmill. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to see which batteries lasted the longest, and so I would like put like the lithium I double did, A's. I did the battery lasting you know, the longest one. Yeah. yeah. And then I was just like up at night watching TV while this thing was running. I'm like, yeah, I gotta stay <laughs> up later to let this oh, time do it. it to see when it ends. So you took it to the next level. Yeah, That's I just, I like eight hours of TV. I gotta do it. The lithium batteries just didn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> and then I did one to see uh, how many propellers is the best. Uh, and I, I had these like something from the The best for store. what? I don't know. Well, yeah, which was, so I like, I got like a little, like one of those uh, balsa airplanes, like the wind up one. Yeah, and, yeah. And I stuck it, you know, I made like a track for it, glued like a straw to it so it would like slide along. Yeah. And then I got these like propellers from the dollar store that were like these little windmill things. Yeah. And I would just like take, I would just like cut blades off of them <laughs> to see like oh. which one would go the farthest for the same number of uh, lines. The ones I didn't cut the blades <laughs> off of. <laughs> I don't even remember what the results were. But it probably was the one with more in it. And my results were like, the more blades is the, <laughs> is the better. better one. Turns out it's actually the exact opposite. <laughs> is less blades is better. Um, and then the other one was, uh, it was like a Sterling engine. It was like a heat engine. Oh, those are cool. It was like a, yeah, like I, made, I built a really, really shitty one out yeah. of uh, aluminum and like a CD case. What grade was that? That's a that was high school. Okay. That, hard. Um, that was like my first foray and trying to like, you know, making something out of metal. And I had our family friend cut the aluminum discs on. Uh, the water jet has worked that the place I ended up actually working at um, and uh, didn't really make sense from a science experiment perspective because it's like you know we're gonna generate electricity from people's body heat it's like <laughs> the beginning of the matrix cool. or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's how it starts um, like I, I did the uh, the battery one just yeah. in like yeah. a flashlight or something Classic. and then we have these bugs in Florida called love bugs mm. and they like they're really crazy bugs it's like they come out every may and there's like thousands and thousands oh, of they're bugs. breeding so yeah yeah kind of june bugs and they stick no? together nah, by their may butts bugs. oh yeah not june bugs. they're, like they're in two, may these two, are in two, may well two bugs to, and they like go butt to butt <laughs> and they like i don't know they, they just swarm everywhere and there's all kind of theories like do they like th- like what color paint do they like they, they always slow your car down when you they, they always somewhere. hang out on the highway and people are like oh yeah they like the smell of gasoline so mm. i just like did all you know i just like poured a bunch of like gasoline on the ground and <laughs> i'm like yeah i think the bugs like it <laughs> but the sidewalk's also white so that's a confounding variable yeah. i don't know <laughs> and then i did one where uh another sign like a, like you presented it to them? yeah yeah so i had to like present all my data that how I how much had. sawdust can you put in rice krispie treats <laughs> <laughs> no what was the one i'm proud of uh <laughs> shit i don't remember the bad ones you you wait you all you remember is the bad ones no there's one more but now I'm on the spot. Fuck. Maybe we'll get it later. Maybe we'll get it in, in a bit. No, now I feel rushed. Well, now <laughs> Yeah, okay, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. Thank uh, you for watching the Safety Third God Podcast. Damn it. <laughs> Thank you to everybody on Patreon who pays for us to do this. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you wanna, who wants to eat a name? I'll eat a name. Does this? Do we have to pay the editor more to do this? No? Okay. You want to eat a name? That's your thing. That's what you yeah. guys do. We That's just eat cool. names. You want to eat a name? Can you use a suppository on him? Yeah, you can do that too. You want to do that? That's pretty cool. I can grab. Actually, no. Oh, you want? Oh, to dude, pass it. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Load it in here and like. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, that was a really long name. <laughs> that was really good. That was the, that was the longest name of all the people that are in the list. <laughs>
If you want to watch any of the extra crap we've been doing, go on uh, Patreon. Uh, it's there a week or two early, or some of it's just completely exclusive to Patreon. It's so bad that we can't release it to the public. And I don't mean inappropriate bad. I just mean a it's poor just quality. it's just very lazy, lazy content. <laughs> uh, you get access to a Discord server where you can ask us questions, which we have not done a Q and A in a bit. We should probably do that. Mm. Um, I know time's running out, so I'm trying yeah, to think. He's I'm trying to think. He's wrapping oh, up. Yeah, yeah. Keep, right, keep uh, stalling. I'll keep, I'll keep stalling. <laughs> Um, uh, we, uh, we've got safety third merch as well. Actually, did you, did you see our dumpster fire t-shirt? What? Our did dumpster fire t-shirt. Uh, it's oh, I think sick. you did show it. To, it was the one you said that fades color really fast. Yes. That one. It's the you one know what he like, said? He showed me this fucking shirt and he's like, dude, super good. Uh, after like one wash, it looks really vintage a as to say, as, as if to like trying to say that it, the color fades really fast. And he said, eh, it looks vintage super fast. And it's like, man, what the, you're like a snake oil bastard. <laughs> That's what a stink oil bath Just never wash your shirt. Anyways, if you want a piece of shit shirt, <laughs> safety third. It looks really good uh, before shot. you wash it, though. <laughs> I like the vintage What look. happened? Why did, why did it just get washed out? It's just discharge. It's like the process. Stop egg. calling it discharge. Yeah. <laughs> it's Nocturnal the, whoever emissions. the word discharge, come here, <laughs> and Michael will, will be with a rubber hose to death as well, because it really, truly is a horrendous name. I haven't, wa I haven't washed mine yet. I don't think I will. More sure. Than. Yeah, better not. I don't want it to discharge. <laughs> no, the discharge already <laughs> happened. Oh, it's already got discharge. It's already full it. of discharge. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, you've worn it with the discharge. That's how they on make the it. Front. They fill it up. They they put discharge on it. <laughs> oh no! Why? What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Did you think of it? Any oh yeah, I remembered. It's oh, actually 